Hey, welcome to episode five of the Create and Execute podcast, where we talk about tech, entrepreneurship, and career paths. We hope to add value to you, 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 the average American and the average human. Hopefully, you can take away some realistic info about how to start your entrepreneurial journey or get a job that pays a livable wage so you could live your best life. Because contrary to what everyone says on the internet, not everyone can be a business owner, but everyone can own appreciating assets. So hopefully you watch us and be entertained, get inspired and or stay hopeful because not everyone is making millions of dollars from their businesses. They're just showing you their highlight tape and not telling you about it's not telling you that starting out and building is going to be hard, expensive and not profitable. Now, let's start the show. I was going to say your voice was not that deep three seconds ago before you started reading that thing. <laughs> I'm not going to. Your voice was not Yo, that deep. <laughs> you raised that. <laughs> hey, man. You that. talking, I had the hiccups, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got to do what I got to do, man. Yeah. got to do what I got to do. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got to yeah. do what I got to do. Your voice was not that deep. <laughs> he goes, hey, welcome. <laughs> yo, let me play for the camera, man. Let me play for the camera. Hey, yo. Damn. Hey, yo. We got <laughs> Carl here in the building. <laughs> yes, sir. Carl uh, Valmir, yeah. real estate. Um, What would you? Real, realtor. Uh, realtor, real estate agent, um, they're all good. Out in the <laughs> state of Massachusetts. Yes. Okay. Hoping to get licensed in Rhode Island soon. All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Cool. We could talk about some real estate stuff um, next time on a solo interviews, like specifically for you to ask you a bunch of real estate stuff, so we can get a deeper dive. Um, but today we are talking about. It's okay to be average. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. It's definitely okay to be average. Yeah. For sure. Um, you Where y'all want to start? You want to you wanna go? I mean, you wanna what, start? What, what do you mean by being average? Like, right, let's start with that. Um, I'm saying in the sense of, like, everybody, the majority of the world is average. majority of Americans are average. Yeah. But we, like, demonize being average. It's like, oh, you're mid. Oh, she's basic. Yeah. Oh, you're, like, it's like we kind of demonize being average, but most people are average. And it's like most jobs that we do are kind of basic. Like, so kind of want to take away that like that stigma of being average. It's like, oh, it's okay to be average, bro. Yeah. And I think part of it, too, is like it's the, the um, not necessarily society, the, the culture of uh, social media. Mm -hmm. right? You know, it's like I feel like before, if you look at it back in the day, everyone had a nine to five and everybody was perfect with a nine to five. But now we have the younger generation that's coming up. You know, they they seeing people on social media living a certain lifestyle, and it's like, well, and you have people on social media making fun of people with a nine to five. That's what's wrong with a nine to yeah. five? Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, shoot, those same people that's talking about, oh yeah, nine to five is for the lames or whatever right. the case may be. Their parents raised them while their parents were working a nine to nine five. five yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? To pay their bills and make sure that that person is okay. Yeah, but they yeah. shouldn't make us think we all can be rich. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's really nothing wrong with being a, uh, being an average. You know what I'm saying? You you obviously start with an average. Even even if you're trying to start uh, like your own business and stuff, you gotta start like you're not gonna just start big. Nobody just start big. You feel me? You gotta work your way up. And you, obviously, you're gonna start average. You feel me? Like, you, and there's different like level of average. Average also like you can say you can say average for let's say for uh, for his job. That obviously, there's an average stage. You feel me? Oh, there's no yeah, room sure. with that you feel me mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so i'm like like in general though most most people in america is average you gotta you gotta know that too and in, and in the as he said uh what do you call it the internet is putting in in, in this new generation said that uh like you gotta be your own boss and stuff you gotta like you gotta uh, like you got you gotta obviously you gotta be your own boss and make make your own move that nine to five is for the week you feel me it's not it's there's no room with being average you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. What are what are we considering average though? Like, well, we'll start with um, we'll start with pay, like salary wise. What's an average salary? Because they kind of they trying to they kind of bash a lot of stuff where it's like, yo, that's that's mid. It's like, yo, yo, you can. You can I, I don't even know what's mid at this point no more because they say that with everything. I'm just like, yo, yeah, okay. but but every state's different though, so you can't exactly. Even say, like, I, thing, we're yeah. we're in Boston. In Boston, what is what's average? What's mid? I mean, well, if, salary you, if, wise. You, if you really want to be realistic, the average in Boston, in the state of Massachusetts, is fifteen dollars an hour. That's the average. Yeah, that's you minimal. That's minimal. That's, wage. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's minimum wage. Cool. Yeah. Okay, like that's the average. It's hard to know 
because at the same time what what i feel like what people fail to consider is like you have you have some job that will only take you if you have a college degree you have a job that will only take you if you have college diploma i mean uh not college diploma high school diploma you have job that'll take you with a ged you know what i'm saying and you have job that'll take you like if you drop out of school if you're a good worker you have good resume they'll still take you so it's mm-hmm. it's hard to balance because and plus not everybody is on salary yeah it's hard thanks. to balance the salary yeah, yeah, yeah but if you're looking at like let's say if you find out okay what's the poverty line in massachusetts and then what's the average based on that it's like okay we can see where people or if you have a survey you're like okay how much does someone have to make in the state of Massachusetts and then zero in the city of Boston to live Got you. a normal life instead yeah. of living paycheck to paycheck or behind paycheck to paycheck? I feel like that's the bigger conversation Got instead you. of like trying to find the average because a lot of people, they're like their salary is confidential. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And a lot of people, it's like, like for, for instance, I work as a, a CNA outside of real estate, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like at one facility, I might get paid something different at a whole other facility. And then okay. you have other people that's been working there for years that definitely getting paid way more than me right. on an hourly basis. And then you have the, the um, different level managers that's making different amount of salaries compared to the person underneath them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's like trying to figure out like the exact average... Shoot, we'll be here all day. Yeah, it'll be tough. It'll be all tough. day. Yeah. What but would what? Go ahead. In Boston, I'll say about like 50, 55 to sixty k is quote unquote the average, uh, like salary per year mm-hmm. for like a normal human being in Boston. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But uh, you could cons- consider this a lot, or you could also consider it like not a lot. You feel me? Depending mm-hmm. on like your surrounding, yeah, and uh, like how comfortable you feel living with whatever you're making you feel me mm-hmm. so if you're comfortable with a 35k and like you get you you have everything you want you feel me like you go to go to bed under a roof you feel me and you feel that you feel like that's comfortable for you you could con- consider the average because obviously there's somebody under you that don't have a roof you feel exactly. me exactly under uh, like to sleep under you feel me so they obviously under you and you could consider yourself average but it, it it's really hard but in in a sense that you're saying average is just like uh like basically you have everything you need, like ev- everybody around you obviously is making like o- almost the same amount of money, mm-hmm. but obviously you know there's something uh, but there's there's like a a group above you 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 feel me Yo, that's okay. making way more that has way more than they even need you feel me yeah now I'll say that that that's okay to be in that stage where you 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 have what you need but not what you want you feel me you have a roof you have you have a car. You can go to wherever you, you want to go with that car from point A to point B. You have a like a roof over your head. You feel me? You, you get food in your crib. You don't even make, be making a hundred k. You feel me? To be average. You okay. know what I'm saying? And average. Actually, so average less. is below. It's less than a hundred k. No, no not no. Oh, wait, not even because there's some there's some um, cities in the U S. A hundred k don't even get yeah. you by. Yeah. yeah, 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 Cali. Yeah, yeah. Like, different what, cities yeah, in Cali, yeah, yeah. different when spots I heard in New that, York. I was like, "Are you serious?" I think the whole state of New York, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like I, you see some apartments in New York, like <laughs> the size of a room here, and they asking like two, three thousand yeah. like, to rent it monthly. monthly. Yeah. Like imagine you making okay, right? Let's say, let's say here on average, let's say a uh, nine hundred square feet apartment. That might be a mansion compared to some apartments in New York that people are paying like two, three thousand for. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Now imagine you move that that 900 square feet to New York. Now, I don't know New York rental market like that, but like imagine if um, the bigger space, 900 square feet, it's like four thousand monthly. Mm-hmm. Like now you do the math. Like um, I don't know if you have your phone on you. Do like four thousand times twelve. Oh, y'all know I'm bad with my math. Yeah, so it, I've gotten it wrong so many times on camera. Yeah. <laughs> 4,000 times 12? Yeah. 48. That's 48,000. Yeah. That's crazy. Now do 100,000, subtract 48K. You are left with what? Um, 52,000. 52? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then, quick like, <laughs> you feel me? Now imagine you got, and plus the price of groceries nowadays, you go yeah. to a supermarket, yep. you get two things, mm-hmm. you spend $100. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now imagine if you um if you do grocery shopping once a month, let's say it's five hundred. 
do 500 times 12. You see what I'm saying? Like, like when you, you, you feel me? Yeah. Is it 6,000? Yep. Yeah, 6,000. Yeah, 6, yeah, 6, right. 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 You feel me? <laughs> so now you're looking at um, 54,000 just living yeah. and um, eating. That's 56. not Because it was 52? Uh, yeah, 54. 46. Hey, yo. Yo, Sammy. Hey, yo. Okay, we were just at 48,000. Right, we were yeah. yes for for the rent yes, and then we adding six thousand for the oh, year. On oh, oh, got you. I thought we were subtracting it because no, you no, subtracted no. from the hundred k. No, <laughs> so now we're gonna, gonna stop talking numbers over here. <laughs> now we're gonna subtract gonna it from the hundred k because now after that, what you got left over forty uh thirty six thirty six thousand. Oh, forty eight. Oh, you're saying forty eight minus six six. 000. Yeah, do forty um forty two thousand uh fifty four a hundred thousand minus fifty four thousand. Oh, yeah. 46. 46,000. And now imagine mm-hmm. you you got to go out. Yeah. You got to do all that. Like, come on. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. imagine, like, if in New York, how much you have to make for you to be considered average, average living sense. okay yeah. in the state of New York. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or part of New York. Because, yeah. like, in every state, it's like the further out you go from, you know, the city, the, city, the, main, yeah. the, the cheaper yeah. it is. But, like, imagine if you got to go far out. In order to leave a dis- uh, yep. decent life, yep. mm-hmm. or you go to like Houston, yep. Like, you, bro, you see the things in Houston. It's like you have a mansion, yep. Like three hundred thousand, yeah. Yep. So what's the average in Houston? Yep, Makes sense. compared to average in Boston or average in New York or something like that. I mean, I- I'll say average, bro. Like, if you want to say in general, you you shouldn't put money as average. Yeah, I'll yeah. say average is uh, how you live, mm-hmm. like how, exactly. how comfortable Your lifestyle. you are. Yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, you feel yeah. I wouldn't say I, I wouldn't put money on it. You feel me? I would gotcha. just say, in general, how how do you feel? Like how do you like your your lifestyle? As he said, mm-hmm. you feel me? You don't need a big lifestyle like those YouTubers and them to like to be considered average. Yeah. Not, if you want, if you have everything you want, bro, obviously you got to work harder for some certain things. You feel me? But uh, if you have everything you want, like let's say food in them, bro, you, you can take care of yourself, bro. You you're already average, bro. You feel me? Yeah. In America, I'm saying America, but obviously. Not being able to afford certain stuff like certain stuff that you need to survive, obviously you're gonna be considered below average. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and I feel like okay, like and this is the thing that we can't even see within our own culture. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Like people back in Haiti, they'll ask, um, they'll like call us up. Yo, I need fifty bucks. I need a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. I need two hundred bucks. Like to them, like, like. We live in a like some kind of lifestyle that's like there's a lot of money involved, mm-hmm. but so, half the time they don't know the everyday struggle of like right. okay I gotta go to work get this if you paying if you getting paid weekly bi weekly right. like you're already counting um, the check to pay your bills right. but back then like back home they thinking like okay they got money if yeah. I ask for fifty dollars today I'm gonna get fifty dollars today like sometimes like to us our average might be below what their average i mean above what but their yeah. average is right. but then there's you know there's other people like he mentioned mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying the the lower class middle class and upper class but then there's a class below the lower class you yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. Know what i'm saying yeah. yeah that's um america compared to a lot of countries yeah. it's like our poor people are actually rich if they were living in another country exactly. with that much money they were making exactly. yeah i feel like I feel like we're all average. We're we're pretty mid, <laughs> like, and it's not a bad thing. I think maybe we should probably just increase the the what's it called? Increase the bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like if if the average is like sixty k or whatever the average is, it's like yo, we should all just try to strive to increase the average to a yeah. higher thing. Yeah. Not because of inflation, just really just like yeah. you working hard and working smart. But right I, now you guys are or every we're all making more. So like the average is like, oh, it's a more comfortable yeah. life to live and it's an easier yeah. life to live as opposed to like, yo, I either gotta make it or I don't. No, it and it's just like, yo, like yeah. you gotta have some type of average in the middle where it's just like, yo, I'm comfortable with this. Yeah. Like I'm cool with this. I get I pretty much get everything I want yeah. in the sense of like I'm not flying on private jets or anything, yeah. but like yeah. the rich people are not completely shitting on you where they're just like, yo, I got Actually, X amount of cars, X, not, Y, and Z. Even, like, the thing is, it's like, even with the rich people, they have to have, like, I was watching a video and the guy was explaining, like, in the, like, ec- um, economically wise, they have to be, like, a group that's lacking. 
Mm-hmm. They have to be a group, um, you know, like as you were saying, like the average people in order for the upper class to live the lifestyle that sense. they yeah. want to live. Yeah, you know but they, your yeah, society can't like thrive if there's only rich people and poor people. So yeah, they, no, that's there has to be like an average of like, yo, we live comfortable. What is, what is, a is, middle is, class. There has to be a middle yeah, class. Of course, of no, course. there is a middle class. Yeah. yeah. There's a middle. Yeah, I, I understand. You're saying like capitalism. There has to be a poor people for rich people to be rich. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, shoot, what is it? What is it? Ah, uh, I learned it in history class. I forgot what it is. It's, 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 you have capitalism, socialism. There's another one where everyone get like the same amount. Equal rights. Communism. I, I I think so, but you, you might want to Google it to make I, sure. I think it's you, communism. Like everyone gets like the same equal amount. Like, like. In that sense, it it eliminates you know yeah. competition. Like, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. Google wouldn't be Google if there would if there wasn't Yahoo or Bing. Or That's a fact. Amazon would be Amazon if it wasn't um, yeah. like eBay or yeah. like something like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I think um, I was. I feel like there was um, when Jeff Bezos, I guess, was going to start Amazon. He was talking to his boss where he was working at the time because, I mean, obviously he didn't have like a, a small job. He had a job with salary making, you know, hundreds of, uh, of thousands of dollars. Yeah. And it's like you know, when he was telling the guy, supposedly when he was telling the guy, hey, this is what I'm planning to do. The dude was like, what are you, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? Yeah. Are you making this? You have this great job making a ton of money and you're going to give this up to start a company selling books. Like to him, he's looking at just just Bezos as if like, okay, you you typically this average person right now, but mm-hmm. you are way above you know the normal average people. So why are you gonna risk all this up Got for you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, something that most likely not gonna work. But yeah. now look at Amazon today. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Right. So it's like. Mm-hmm. People shouldn't also confuse being at like average as also being comfortable. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. if we don't thrive for more, and like yeah, I'm average. Like this, like like we. Were oh saying yeah, earlier, we're definitely not saying yeah, that. Like, like we were saying earlier, there's no, there's nothing wrong with a nine to five, but we should always want more than just a nine to five. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So like, it's nah. like your definition of average, I guess. Yeah, no, nah, I feel you. Definitely yeah. don't just like. Yeah, I got a good job. I'm just going to, like, rest here. Inflation happens, so your good job is eventually going to be not so good. So oh, you're like, yeah. whatever they're paying you, let's say they're paying you 50K, the value of that 50K is not going to be worth the same value in a year from now from when you got it. So definitely it's not going to be the same value 10 years from now if you're just like, I got a good job. I'm cooling. Nah, that inflation's going to oh, eat up all the me. actual value of that money. As we see now, inflation's crazy, crazy right now. Reckless. Like, reckless. yo, the prices of houses right now, bro. Oh, that's like that, but that was a whole different story. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I feel like more so, more so, it's like um, interest rate, like gotcha. for people to get get a mortgage. Right. Mm-hmm. That's, that's not like tied in. It's uh, I feel like that's what inflation is affecting the most. Like right now in the housing market, like it's um, in terms of prices, uh, one of the major thing is there's not enough people selling their homes. Mm. So that the supply is a supply and demand issue yeah. that's causing the cost the cost of uh, the price of houses to go up because it's like let's say us three in the house like right I mean sitting right here wants to buy a house right we each want to buy a house but there's one house available for the three of us okay. yeah. so now we are over here I'm I'm trying to bid more than you you're yeah. trying to bid more than him and then now the seller's loving all this you see what I'm saying so now imagine. The price of houses, everyone, because not enough people are selling, and then you have an interest rate that's all the way up. So you have like Damn. two huge things, and by yeah. the time it's like now you're looking at a, you thinking like before, um, before COVID, like during COVID, interest rates was low, price of houses was still high, but now you have price of houses still high and interest rates are high. Yeah. So now it's like you're thinking you're gonna get a street deal because you fall in love with the house. But makes sense, yeah. Like you paying ten times more compared to you know what I'm saying before because in- inflation got freaking the interest rate super high. Yeah, yeah. And every t- they say they bring it down, they bring it down a little bit, it goes back up. Back bring up. It down. Yeah, it's like That's a tug and pull game. That's you think crazy. we're in a housing bubble? 
Honestly, I have no idea. No? I have no idea. I, okay. a, a lot of time, I try to stay away from that conversation. Gotcha. You feel okay. me? Because I feel like there's so many different factors that plays part of it. And it's like, I see it from one end, but like, there's so many different things that plays part of... Because if you think back in 2008 era, like, I feel like a lot of people are scared of that era happening again. Mm-hmm. But that was something completely different. It was like, that was more Wall Street doing, in my opinion, than anything else. Yeah, it was Lehman been. Brothers that were, like, inflating numbers that caused the markets to collapse, right? Yeah, I, honestly, it was a, a, a ton. Like, they, they made a movie about it, uh, The Big Short. Mm-hmm. Like, it really talked specifically about, like, subprime mortgages and all that. Okay. And it was, when I watched that movie, I was like, wow. <laughs> it was like, I guess. I'm not going to talk about, like, um, you know... I know the economy and all that, but I guess what they were doing back then, it was like they were selling. And plus, the era, too. How old was I? 2008. I was probably 10. So I was out of the mix. Like, all this, like, all this was happening around us. Mm-hmm. We had no idea. Like, we, we running around playing. Yeah. To us, every life was normal. Mm-hmm. But our parents in the background were stressing, probably. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I guess during that time, you could go in the bank and just say, hey, I want to buy a house. They wasn't checking anything. They wasn't checking, you know, you can say you make a million dollars. They're like, just like, all right, yeah, they'll take they you for your work. For yeah. And then now you have those people that's buying houses saying, like, buying, let's say, a $500,000 house that they have no business buying. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, makes sense. But they'll still give them the mortgage. Yeah. Now, the banks would know they don't have the exact documentation to back that up, so they'll just sell it off to another bank. You know what I'm saying? They'll just keep selling it off, keep selling it off, keep selling it off. And I guess until it couldn't really carry itself anymore. Mm -hmm. Sounds like... um, That's what the movie said. (laughs) Sounds like Fractional Reserve Bank. Yep. Yep. (laughs) Yep. Exactly. Um, I mean, maybe the feds won't close it this time. Uh, So, Fractional Reserve Bank... (laughs) Cause that was the one that got muted. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a similar, it's a similar thing where it's like, um, if I'm a bank and I'm giving you money, yeah. No, you're giving me money because I'm a bank. You're like, yo, hold this hundred dollars for me. I'm like, I bet. Mind you, I'm probably begging you to hold this hundred dollars. Yeah. But I'll hold the hundred dollars for you, and then you're like, all right, cool. Your money's safe for, because it's fractional reserve banking. I'm able to loan ninety percent of that, so I'm able to loan ninety dollars out of your hundred. Yeah. He comes and just like, yo. I'm trying to buy a car from our tech guy. Yeah. He goes to the tech. He's, he comes to me like, yo, let me get like $90. I'm like, all right, cool. I got you. You just got to give me interest rate. He takes the 90. He goes and gives it to our camera, our tech person. The tech person comes back and gives me the $90. He then says, yo, I'm filing for bankruptcy. It's like, all right, so I, you don't got to give me the $90 back because you filed for bankruptcy. I only have $100 in, my, in the bank. If you come and be like, yo, let me get that $100 back. And then he comes like, yo, let me get the 90 back. It's like, I only got a hundred. I don't got a hundred and ninety to give you. Oh. So now it's just one of those things where it's like, all right, bro, you guys are asking for too much money. Um, it's, I'm going to have to take a few business days, but I can't give you all that much money. And you'll be like, all right. Yeah. yeah and then I'm going to call like the feds and be a... like, yo, these people are trying to take mad money out. Yeah. Or yeah. I'm going to be like straight up. Somebody's not getting any money. <laughs> all right. I'm going to call the feds yeah, yeah, and I'm going to ask them, but somebody's not getting, getting any the money. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. But isn't it so, like um, if you have. Up to two hundred fifty thousand in the bank is yeah. backed by the federal government, yeah. FDIC, whatever. It's yeah, called. exactly. But then something like that happened with something a bank called Republic Bank in California, um, Silicon Valley Bank. Yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I, damn. Jesus yeah, Christ. and that's that's our whole banking system. That's it's fractional crazy. reserve banking. It's just like the that's money crazy. that everybody has in there is not really there because they took it. People are they're loaning ninety percent of it out. People will go bankrupt. So technically. I'll get the 90 for him, and I'm like, oh, I could I could loan out another 90% of his $90, which is $81. It's like, I don't have technically that. I yeah, loan it out yeah. to somebody. They then, oh, I filed for bankruptcy. And it's like, yo, bro, I don't got the bread that y'all asking yeah. for, so hopefully you guys don't ask me for it all at the same time. That's crazy. And when people start, yo, I need my money, I need my money, because they'll hear, like, yo, this is crashing. Now I want my money. I want my cash on hand. Yeah. Everybody tries to pull out at the same time, and then the bank is just like, Nah, you pulling out too much money. We're calling the feds, or they they flag you, and it's like, yo, it's my money. Just give me my money, bro. Right? Yeah. They try to do some underhand tactics, even though they initially begged you to hold their money, Damn. and then all of a sudden, it's like, nah, it's, it's an issue. 
Oh well, yeah. we don't have your money. Um, we could cover you up to just as, as an example. We could cover you up to like fifty dollars. It's like, yo, bro, I gave you like five hundred. Like, what are you talking about? Only fifty? That's Damn, crazy. That is crazy. And actually, yes. that makes me wonder, especially like back on the topic of you know being average and what considers people to be average. Like, if we go and we open up like a savings account and the bank gets to lend that money out, bro, the 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 fraction they give us back on that savings account. Mm -hmm. I remember um had a a CD, right? I had a CD and um I guess that's when you get the most interest back mm -hmm. at the time, like when you have a CD cuz it's like um you put the money there and um it's like a savings account. Yeah, since there, it's there you like can't pull lot. it out yeah. and then you gain interest off the money exactly. that you put it. Yep. So I put like at the time I was I was, I was back in high school. I was working. I spent every day I go to work. Um and I think I was working twenty hours a week, but I didn't have no bills to pay nothing. Mm -hmm. So all the little money I was saving, I was putting it I put it I saved it all together at once and then when it got to a decent amount, I put it on a CD. Bro, I had the money on the CD for two years. Guess how much I got back? How much money did you put in? I had um at the time I had three thousand on the CD. Three thousand, they gave you five dollars back. I wish they didn't give you five dollars back. Wish. It was nah, it was less it was, than five dollars. Less than five dollars. Yeah, that's that's another thing that we were talking about last time. It was like, again, the bank will beg you to hold your money, and then they'll be like, "Oh, I'm gonna give you, um, I'm gonna loan him the money, your money. I'm not yes. gonna tell you I'm loaning him your yes. money. He can literally just." Cut me out of it and just go straight to you. But then I'm gonna be like, nah. But you can't trust Carl. He right, might right, steal right, your yeah, money. He's, he's yeah. human. Bro. I'll do a credit score yeah. thing and hold him accountable. But you yep. can't hold him accountable yep. in yep. no way, shape, or form. Yep. Only I can hold him accountable. Yep. And then, and they then, give you like and then I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna charge you. Um, I'm gonna charge you six percent interest rate. It's like, yo, if I go to Carl, I could negotiate with Carl for like a Less, two percent yeah. interest rate. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. don't trust him though. Yeah. I'll, I'll trust him though, yeah. but don't you don't trust they'll pay, him. They'll play the like, middleman. The difference, yeah. They play the middleman and then give you, yeah, like, give me like for instance, like that's say you say six percent, yeah. They'll give me a fraction of one percent. Exactly. Yeah. You'll be like, yo, so you're cutting me in on some of that interest rate, right? That's crazy. Yeah, they sure. I'll give you point zero five percent of it. It's like, bro, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that don't even make sense. Oh, like, yeah. why do I, I just? I might as well just skip you and just go straight go to, to exactly. Yeah. Go but straight to in a way it's like. But then They're again, like, nah, like, but don't trust the average American, though. Yeah. But you should respect the average American, but don't trust them. We don't, don't want trust you trusting them. Exactly. Nope. If you guys start, like, getting smart, then we lose power. Yep. So don't yeah, trust don't each trust other. And I feel like that's, Yo, on, that's another thing, too. It's like, as average individuals, we put our trust into these um, larger banking system um, companies and stuff like that. Like, thinking, like, okay, they're going to have our best interest. Like, no. Nah, nah. No. You have to have millions of dollars for them to be yeah. like, yeah, we'll take his call right now. Yeah, even uh, us, honestly, we have a couple of dollars in the bank account. They're just like, whatever, bro. bro. It's, like, it's, it's, it's not like, worth our time. It's like how they tell you, bro. Like, bro, if you have a if you have a credit card or you have a, a credit score, you could buy anything you want, bro. You could buy anything you want, but but if you have cash, things things may or may not be more expensive for you. But if you have a credit card, bro, we can give you more money than you have cash. You feel me? And you could buy more stuff. So they, they try to. Trying to buy you into to getting a credit score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and with you, the you cash pay back bull. Yep. Um, oh. Yeah. Can I swear on that? Yeah, yeah. All right, with the cash back bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point yeah. five. Oh, you, they give you a dollar back on everything you buy. Yeah, yeah. So, right, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to lie. That does come in handy. Sometimes. No, no, they don't. No, no, no. <laughs> if you buy a lot, yeah. 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 They Bro, hate that, though. They yeah. hate that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you're going to spend it anyways, you might as well get some type of money back. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're going to pay gas. You're yeah. going to buy food. Might as well use your credit yeah, card. Yeah. But I got a card from Discover, right? But I didn't know I got a cashback card. It's like one day I'm, I'm like I'm on the the Discover app. I'm like it's like cashback. At, at the time it was like twenty six dollars. I'm like hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like hey. Yeah. But then now I'm like didn't okay. even notice. Like, it. I didn't even notice. But now since I knew, I just kept using it. Kept using yeah. it. like gas station, restaurant. I kept using. It. I'm like all right. But you thinking you getting free money? But yeah. when you do the math to like yeah. how much you spending yeah. against it. But the only good thing about it is mm -hmm. like you don't get charged interest. You know, unless you don't pay your 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 thing on time. On time, yeah. So yeah. it's like, all right, then it works. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not it's not like I'm the losing minimum. any money. But like the cars where you have to pay a yearly fee and then they charge you interest. Right. It's it's 
the little money you get back in yeah, it's, it's, not it's, worth it's not worth it. Not, it's not worth it. Yeah, hey, bro, you, entice you, go ahead. You're paying 200 a year for, for a card. you saying, yo, it's a year, bro. I could pay that a year. Yeah. It's a lot of money, bro. Yeah. Yo, uh, yes, it helps your credit score because it's like a card where, like, yo, bro, you're paying 250 a, a year. You miss one late payment. They're not going to charge you because, cause, you know what I'm saying, you're already paying. you you paying 250 a year. Like, uh, let's say you get a Amex card. Like, uh, I have a gold Amex card, and I'm paying, like, 200 or 250 a year. Mm-hmm. Let's say I, I buy like you have a, a bigger limit when you when you paying that two fifty. Okay. Let's say you have ten k or fifteen k. Yeah. That you could spend. You you have you literally have a whole like you, you could split it into like monthly payments mm-hmm. or you, you you could pay whenever you want. You know what I'm saying? But just like like the if 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 you have a regular card where let's say let's say Apple card you get cash back, but if you miss a monthly payment, your your credit score is gonna go down. <laughs> And you got to pay him like a hundred dollar extra, extra or plus. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's With another the thing MX too. Card, it doesn't lower. It no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh, oh for But you okay. got to pay back. You got to pay back. Yeah, let's. Oh damn. Bro, yeah. All right. The thing oh, is, so also, that's what the incentive is then. Yeah. For paying. But uh, uh, you also paying two fifty a year, bro. That's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah, they have different levels too. There's one you pay one fifty. When they, you pay the gold is like what two fifty or two hundred, and then you get the platinum where it's like I, don't, I forgot. I think it's three hundred or something. You pay a year. No, 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 three hundred dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought they gave you a credit line of three hundred k. Oh no, you you get a bigger yeah. amount though. Like yeah, yeah, I, yeah I you know what I'm saying. So it's like the 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 more you, um the fee is yearly you get. You get more, more. yeah. Oh, but that's but when you first start, you obviously start with a lower a lower score. You feel me? Because uh, like I started, let's say I started off with like five hundred, and then I kept using the card. I kept using thirty percent of the card and paying it back. Mm-hmm. By the end of the month, your score your your score is gonna go up. By the, uh, let's say in one year, your score is going to go up way, way above 50 points because they see that you're paying them back. But the, the benefit is, let's say you forgot to pay or all of a sudden you don't have the money to pay it back. You could split it in monthly plan. You know what I'm saying? And get uh, and like, you know, you could pay it in half. It's better to split it in monthly plan plan because like you don't want to just not pay for two months because then they're going to be like, yo, bro, why is he not paying that back? So obviously, oh, maybe he's, he's the, he doesn't have the money. He's never going to pay us back. So we're going to send him a quote or something. For like a quote unquote late payment, no, not payment. What do you call it? It's like over, over past. Like you passed too much, you didn't pay us, so I'm gonna charge you like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Mm-hmm. So when do they start record, like reporting you? Uh, let's say you spent, uh let's say you spend like ten k, and you're not paying either thirty percent of it or five percent, <laughs> like like fifty percent of it. Yeah. Then they're gonna report it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it has to be a big amount of money. Yeah. But let's say you have three k, five k on there, but you you paying every week or every two weeks. Yeah. They're not gonna report you. You know what I'm saying? They oh. might charge you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much like you spend that that month. Yeah. But they're not gonna report it. But it's it's mostly to like boost up your credit. The That's more it. you buy, you get points. You get like you get points for like you get a free trip, like a free vacation. But you gotta keep buying. Yeah. A lot of people who has it, they always are spending a lot of money. But you also get like money back. This is by like 0.5%. It's not it's worth not, it. It's nothing. It's but like... the people that has those cards are pay or buying a lot, they they're paying, they're using a lot of money, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And they have the money, obviously. Quote unquote, I don't have the money, so I don't really use a lot. You feel me? So those people have the money to pay it back. But I, that's all still that they, the, the 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 bank is robbing you, making you think like, yo, bro, you get all those points. You go you go on a free trip, but you need like two hundred k points. To, yeah, to that's win. insane. Yeah. That's yeah. Ins- they're like, yo, you gotta yeah. spend yeah. like half a million <laughs> with yeah, us, dude. like. Yeah. It's like bro, um, I about just took the trip myself. Yeah, it's yeah, like those things like you, you guys know those uh, those those gaming machines where they have like the teddy bears in it. Yeah. And then you go in, you, you guys don't keep it, losing. Right? Yeah. Yep. But the more money you put yep. in, yep. you know yep. what I'm saying? Until one day they they, they, they they most likely one person will win out of like a hundred people that uh, yep. probably tried. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like they keep adding that money up. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, they, bro, they, 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 they they give they you like suggestions and stuff like you. If you if you buy from them, you get three times the points. And yeah, it's those they'll just, yeah, they'll entice you to buy it. Yep. It's like, oh, that's how Because I'm pretty sure when you hear cash back, you're like, all right, I'm more yeah. likely to spend my money. Yeah, because yeah, you get a little to, something. Yeah. 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 I just look at it like a discount. Though. But I'll it's say, like, yo, this is a point. This is a 1% yeah. discount it's on it. everything I buy. But I heard it's safer right? to use your credit card mm-hmm. than it is to use your debit card. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Safer? Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, in what sense? I guess you I guess your your money is more protected like against fraud and stuff like that, that okay yeah. yeah it's like if someone like for example let's say you have five thousand dollars on your debit card i guess um because this dude was making a video he said i never use my like debit cards like, never in my life have i used a debit card i was like yeah it must be nice <laughs> um but he was like um like hey if you have 
five thousand on your debit card and someone comes and you know did some fraud things yeah like you have to jump through with a ton of hoop to yep. get that money back yeah but mm-hmm. if it's a credit card like you, you yeah, call fraud yep. department da 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 oh they're more likely then, to give you your money yeah, back yeah the, more the, the credits yeah because the more bank they give you the credits your back. bank's not gonna have that five k for you right right away bro you you spend on your debit yeah. card i'm saying yeah because they love yeah. and plus i feel like they want to make sure you're not doing that yeah, spend yep. that five k yeah it's and they're trying to say too. hey i want my money back I mean, five k is a lot. I know, it is <laughs> a lot. If you it were like lot. five dollars, they probably be like, Man, it's five dollars. Yeah, yeah. Five k is a lot for anybody. I, mean, I don't care how rich you yeah. are. It's like, yo, come on, bro. How yeah. rich are you that you're just like? Absolutely. I mean, all right, billionaires. Unless you're a rapper, like, yeah, five k. You're a rapper. You want to show off? Then five k is nah. Five k is a lot for that. Oh, five k is a lot. No, five k is a lot. I'm not, dis- I'm not disagreeing, yeah. but it is a lot. But I'm just yeah. saying. I feel like maybe a millionaire. And in, in, in the conversation we're having earlier, number. based on people being average in yeah. nine to five, yeah. some people might be like, "Ah, oh, five pays low money." Oh, that's yeah, it's like, yeah, that's, bro, that's, that's a lot. lot. Yeah. I will never be that guy that says, yeah, like, "Bro, I'm making two. Bro, that's nothing." Yeah, that's no, I'm hurt. I'm hurt inside yeah. five. Yeah. I lost five k. You know where you came from? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, but it's not even knowing where I came from. They they really just stunting for. I don't know. They got to. Keep an image yeah, up or something. They probably like, I ain't keeping an image up, bro. Yeah. They probably on the. I'll be upset um, if I lose five k. Yeah. Yeah. They probably on the on the camera. Oh yeah, I just lose five k. Yeah, and then in the background, damn, damn, I lost five. Yeah, five yeah. k. Yeah. I'm tight. What? <laughs> like someday, oh, bro. Be sometime I go. Um, I can go somewhere. Like oh, perfect example, Apple. It'd be sometime Apple be tra- like um I had um I didn't know I had Apple TV, and Apple kept charging me seven forty three. I'm like, bro. Why you keep charging me seven forty three? Like some people, seven dollars forty three cents is it's nothing. Yeah. But like, yo, if it's for something I'm not using, or you st- like, I'm, okay, obviously Apple's not stealing, you know, seven dollars and forty three yeah. cents. Yeah. But it's like, if it's something I'm not using, and you keep charging me, it's a like, obviously, payment, yeah, yeah, it's like it's gonna add up. It, and when it gets to a job, like, damn, I really spent that much. Yeah. yeah. Like if someone comes yeah. to my bank account and take five k, yeah, shit, yeah. I'm gonna be hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna chuck it off. Yeah. Bro, facts. Yeah. And that's the second thing we want to talk about. Just being yourself. Yep. Shit. Bro, be be yourself. Don't stunt for the gram. Don't stunt for social media. Be yourself, man. Yeah. Bro, I feel like sometimes like this, like I, I want to say, there's people that's really cool. There's people that's genuinely cool. There's people that's genuinely rich. People genuinely got bread. Yeah. That it really doesn't affect them. Yeah. But if it affects you, just be yeah, yourself and be honest. Be like, yo, bro, that's a lot of money for yeah. me, bro. Like, I'm if not you doing gotta it. You got to cry about it. You got to cry about yeah, it. Yeah. If it's like, yo, if I see him be like, oh, yeah. Yo, 5K is nothing. I can't then be like, yeah, 5K is nothing. Like, no, no, right, for you. Right. You live a different right, lifestyle than me. Right, just right, an example. Right, right, right. It's like, that's for you. Yeah. Hey, I'm not knocking it. I'm not like D riding. I'm just saying. Hey, that's dope that you make that much, and that's nothing for bro. you. For yeah. me, it's like, bro, I got bills to pay and real stuff to pay for. Like, right, right. Like, shoot, perfect example. Bro. I don't make enough. Like, um, shoot, when was that? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Not too long ago, like, um, my car battery kept dying. Bro, buying a new battery for my car was not in the budget. It was not in the budget. Mm-hmm. But it's like. At that time, I'm like, shoot, well, I need the car. I need to drive. So, obviously, I got to spend, like, the car battery was, like, 250 Yeah. God. Oh, you got like, brand new. Yeah, brand new car battery. Damn. Like, 250 because the ones, the one that was in the car, I never changed it, mm-hmm. um, you, you know, for, for years. So, obviously, it's like, this is my action. I'm not changing and keeping up to it. So, now it's that. Yeah, but yeah. when it died, bro, spending that 250 was not in the budget. Plus, the money to install it. Right. I was not in the budget. I was hurt. Yeah, yeah I, those yeah, those like charges was, that come I, out of yeah. nowhere. It's like damn. Yeah. Man, I was hurt. I was I was scratching my head. I was I was hurt. Yeah, yeah. Like there was another time, bro. And and I feel like that's why that's why some people don't don't get. It. It's like money does have a lot of influence on us. And but I feel like too many people oftentimes fake it when it comes to money. Like sometimes I I tell um many. Uh, me and me was having a conversation. He's like, yo, you mad cheap, you mad cheap. I'm like, bro, if I don't have it, I don't have it. Yeah, I don't have it. But he was he was basing it off one example. So Whoa. Like, he was <laughs> this man is cheap. No, 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 no we no, all no, went no, out no, to I, eat. I, one. Yeah, no, wait, 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 I, was, I was just gonna say that. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not cheap. All right, all right, yo, on, listen to this. Bro. Listen to this. All right, come on, that's not cheap. That's not cheap. Let him cook. Yo, 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 it's not cheap. 
Yeah. In my opinion, it's not cheap. Yeah, I All right, think of it this way. Yeah. I had we, I had no plan on going out to eat. I had zero plan on going out to eat. I'm over here. I'm coming over to High Park. <laughs> I stop at um how you call it? Shoot, 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 shoot. The burrito place. Um Los Chipotle. Chipotle. No, Chipotle. Chipotle. Okay. I thought about Chipotle, I was hungry. You know, I, I got I got myself, I think um I don't know if, I haven't been uh, to Chipotle in a minute, so I don't know if the bowls are still like eight dollars. So I got myself an eight dollar bowl. And then when I got there, when I got to uh, my cousin's house, I started talking. They they talking about oh let's go let's go out to eat. Mind you, no one knew where they wanted to go out to eat. And then boom, like we always go to Fridays, so we went to Fridays. I'm like yo, I just buy food. We can go to Fridays. <laughs> I brought my food with me at Fridays. <laughs> you feel me? Right. It's like if you want to call me cheap, call me cheap. If I wanted to pay for the food, I would have paid for the food. Right. But I need buy food. Like you, if plus we all Haitian in this room. We can be on the road. Ah, mom, can we go to McDonald's? There's food in the fridge at home. All right. I had that same knowledge. <laughs> I already bought but, my food. That's what I'm going to eat. Yeah, that makes sense. You yeah. feel me? That's not cheap. Bro, you knew the heads up that we were going out no, to eat. No, there was no heads up. <laughs> he bro, knew the heads when, up when we were going out to eat. When, they, when, when it comes to plants <laughs> with the group, there's no heads up. <laughs> no. No heads up. There was definitely a heads up that we were going out to eat. No. There was no Maybe sense. people flake and people be like... <laughs> Last minute they'll be like, "How am I going?" So maybe, bro, maybe uh, that was that's what okay. you was thinking. I don't remember the heads up, <laughs> but there was definitely like, "Yo, we about to go grab some food because there's no food here. We don't want to just chill at the crib, nah, bro." We everyone... went to Fridays. Nah, man. this man went upon himself, bought food, brought it into Fridays. We're all ordering food. Be my guest. I was not nah. it. This man <laughs> is now getting free refills and free food off of yes. us. Be my that's not at, bro. <laughs> yo, it's, it's, at Fridays. Yo, it's not called being cheap. He's talking to the he's <laughs> talking to the waitress. I asked the waitress for a plate. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a the aesthetic of the you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The dining table. He, he puts his store bought food inside of the uh, on the plates of the Fridays, Fridays as if he bought the food from Fridays and, and the food look way better than there. the food at Fridays and he's asking the waitress oh he's asking the wait he's talking to the waitress more than us yo. we're just like all right cool we got our food he's just like yeah can I get one more thing yo, that's like, no, yo, yo, nah. <laughs> you did not order food here bro she's not making money off of you she was not making a dime I think I, I think I tipped I think I tipped. Yeah. Yeah. I doubt you tipped. They said I think. I don't think I did. They no, said I think I did. Bro, but it's not cheap. Bro. I already bought the food. I wasn't buying food again. I already <laughs> bought the food. I wasn't buying food again. Because mind you, I think after that, we went to, to Hooters. And then, no, you wasn't. No, nah, nah, I, was, I wasn't. After that, we went to Hooters. Bro, we drinking. We having fun. I had that, well, there was no conversation. I mean, I don't think I tipped that time, too. But... <laughs> But <laughs> yo, but everyone else tip. All the waiters and waitresses in Boston. If you see no, this guy, no, no, don't no, no, serve no, no, him. No, 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 no. He's not that's giving that's you a tip. That's 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 Skip that table. Yo, <laughs> just look the other way. Let let somebody else who doesn't watch this yeah. podcast no. serve him. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> that's not you. I do tip. I do tip. But when when the tip is warranted, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I do tip when the tip is warranted. Like there was one time. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're getting off topic in this conversation. <laughs> no, but it was one time. You, uh, I ain't going to lie. I can't even blame you for not tipping no more. I'm starting to lean towards that. Where I'm just no. like, should I, I tip? Like, I still do it, but I'm now start thinking nah, like, should I? Yeah. Me, me, bro, I'm not scared to say I do not tip, bro. You, you look, li- me. You look you at me wrong. Bro, you, bro. <laughs> bro, you look at me wrong. You're not getting a tip, bro. Bro, listen. I start off in my head. I'm like, are you getting 20? Ah, uh, you ignored me the first time. 15 right there. Yeah. Bro, I'm saying, bro. Uh, you, yeah. you was a little too rude when you, when you answered me. That's ten dollars, bro. Yeah. Once, you, once you get the five dollars, bro, you done. You're not getting no. any tip, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know the place I hate the most? The one that put the tip. In oh the bill. yeah. Oh, how do you know I was gonna yeah. give you that much, bro? Larry, I, I just leave it blank. Yeah. Yeah. Just, me personally, I just leave it blank, bro. That yeah, I be crazy. that one. I be like, I don't even wanna. I don't want to tip you, bro. Because when you, you steal the tip, yeah, yeah, and they be like twenty percent. It's like twenty percent, bro. Sometimes you not even thought it was fifteen, like, bro. Yeah. Oh. Nah, nah, it's always been twenty, bro. It's always been twenty. Yeah, always been twenty. No, I didn't yeah. know. I think there's a middle. There's there's a bar. There's a there's fifteen, twenty, and then twenty. Yeah, now there is like on the receipts. Yeah, but no, the common rule supposedly has always been twenty. Bro, I'm I mean, too broke to go out. It, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like they should just they should just call it what it is. We broke. <laughs> just be like, yo, bro, you can't afford to eat here. We about to just make the food bro. fifty dollars, hey. yo, because the food would be like thirty dollars, and then after tip and everything, it's like I might as well have. You might as well have said the food was forty five. Don't, don't, don't forget tax, bro. 
Cause and tax, bus tax. tax. Yeah, yeah so $50. Right? You, might well have said the, you might as well have said the food was $50. Yo, I mean, and I, I would have been like, I can't eat here. I'm going to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Bro. Or make the food yourself. Yeah. I think on food, they should just waive the tax completely. Yeah. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. like cook food. If it's something you have to consume, yeah, because they already taxed the restaurant when they're at the restaurant and bought the food. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That, make, yeah, that, def- yeah. that definitely makes sense. Because yeah. honestly, yeah. if you think of it this way, right? Especially back on the, the conversation about um, salary and stuff like that. They tax us when we get the paycheck. Mm-hmm. And then That's when crazy. we use the money That's from the paycheck crazy. to buy things, That's they crazy. tax us again. That's yeah, I've been thinking that too. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's like they keep taxing. Like at some point, y'all, y'all gotta stop. That's true. That's yeah, crazy. That's, gotta a, stop. that's a crazy amount of tax. Yeah. yeah. I you feel got, like we the, gotta pay tolls. You know, I'd be complaining about the tolls. Yeah. Like, yo, I oh, live yeah, here, the, bro. The tolls get, oh, well, yeah. I live in this state. I live in this city. Why am I paying a toll to just travel from yeah. one like, part of the city East to the next? Like from Boston to East Boston. Yeah. yeah like, why am I? Are you heading west? Just like, yeah. oh, yeah, you gotta pay a toll. It's like, why well, I live here? Oh, you don't have easy pass. It's okay, bro. We'll bill you, bro. Right. Be your pick, bro. Yeah. And then they're like, we're gonna charge a convenience fee. Yo, oh, on, on this like, that's why that's why easy pass the easy pass they don't they don't yeah. they don't charge you the the extra red you yeah. know what I'm saying for real yeah nah. like, when you have easy pass so you you, you can set it to either twenty five dollars yeah or fifty so when he reaches twenty five let's say you keep traveling yeah it, it's not gonna take any money off of you until you reach twenty five dollars or fifty dollars you oh, me depending I on you yeah but if you if you let them send it to you through your your plate and everything yeah that, you, I always let them send it to and me. everything yeah yeah. And sometimes I just let it slide. Yeah. Like, and then it was actually the other day, actually like a month ago, I, I looked at it. I was like, sheesh, bro, that thing started at 100. Yep. That thing was 400. I was like, yep. sometimes it's cheaper yeah. to pay the easy yep. pass yep. like when you first get yep. it mm-hmm. instead of just letting it sit. Yeah. Because I think they charge you, like, late fees, a dollar for every uh, yep. pass through that yep. you laid on. Yeah. Oh, damn. I and mind you, it could be 25 cents. Yeah. It could be twenty five cent to pass the fucking toll. Yeah. They say ma- uh, you uh, what do you call it? Easy pass mass. It'd be twenty five cent. But if you're from a different state, it's more money. It could be seventy five, thirty five. Oh, for the plates are different. Yeah, yeah for the plates. Yeah, oh, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. And they're gonna charge you a dollar extra I when refuse, it's twenty five cents. I refuse to get easy pass though. No, no, I go around the tolls. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Hey, the, I, I cut all the way through Chelsea nah, to go to East Boston. To I East cut through Boston, Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yo, I'm not doing yeah. this. Yeah. The tunnel, the tunnel is blocked. I'll, I'll take the extra ten minutes. Like but there was one time doing? before, um, before the whole Easy Pass came out. Yeah, I was dropping um my cousin Manny off to school. Yo, I was mad. That was before. So at that time, if you didn't have Easy Pass and you passed through the Easy Pass, you paid fifty dollars. That's crazy. What? Like, yeah. That's oh, crazy. I remember those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When they actually had the people like, yeah, in the sitting down, they had the Easy yeah, Pass man, section. It was crazy. like, oh, you just drive through. Bro, I damn, if you just pass through, it's 50. Bro, I, that's what I first started driving to. So damn. I didn't really know. And I went to drop, uh, drop Manny off. Till this day. Manny, if you're watching this, I want my money. Till this day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I passed Yo. through. And I'm chilling after. I was like, oh, really? Oh, this is easy. Yeah. Like, everyone's in line. Yo, they sent me that thing in the mail. 50 bucks. But you, th- you, you think I learned my lesson the first time? Nah. I went. To, I think I went to drop them off again the second time. Pass through that thing again. Damn. Another $50. So, man, you owe me $100. Damn. That's crazy. That's but crazy. Until then, bro. Uh-uh. Nah. Yeah. So oh, That's crazy. So, ask. My mom so, got hit bad with the easy path. More of the story. Be yourself. Shoot. Be yourself. You see us. We live in life, being ourselves, having having a good time. Yes, sir. <laughs> dodging, to, <laughs> dodging these goddamn easy souls. Pass. He's going through easy pass, spending od yeah. money. He got yeah. an easy pass. Yeah. He's spending less money. Yep. Live how you want to live. Me, I'm going around him. I'm cheap. Well, yeah. I'm not I, doing that. I live here. <laughs> actually, the um sometime well at well also at the time by having because my mom had the transponder. Yeah. She had God because she was doing Uber. So she she had gotten the transponder. Like me, yo, it's like, I feel like me and Manny, like we we always get into it. Like, we went to Philadelphia at the time again. I didn't. I had that was before Easy Pass. We were passing Easy Pass in Philadelphia like crazy, like the tolls, like crazy. Yo, I came back. Yo, the 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 thing they mailed me, sheesh. But lucky since my mom had the yeah. transponder, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I had Easy Pass, so I put my car on the transponder, and then the lady was nice. She discounted it. 
to yeah, like, I think she brought it down from like 300 to like 60. Mm. Like 60 How many tolls is there to get from here to eat that. Philly? And, no, it's in Philly. Like, the oh, part of Philly, Philly we're in, move around like, Philly? every Crazy. time we were getting off, because we were outside of Philly, like, almost every exit we were getting on and off, there was an easy pass. Sounds like, like Texas. A tolls. Yeah, for real? Yeah. Ooh. Hell yeah. Bro, it Hell was yeah. crazy. Ta- bro, Man said, "Yo, you, oh, you don't want to take that exit? I was gonna put one right, right at that, that exit. You know, you know <laughs> how they, they, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they like they have a toll on the road, on mm-hmm. the highway, and you, you want to take the exit to not take that toll? They put one right at the exit. Damn, L- literally, bro, <laughs> bro, literally, Damn. bro. It was yeah. like we getting our money. Yo, yeah, they're gonna get see our picture. Like, I, I think in New York, I, the last time I went to New York, there's like to, to go on a, it's like a popular bridge or some shit in, in New York. Mm-hmm. I think the toll is like twenty five dollars. One, one trip, bro. Twenty five. Yeah." I would Damn. never live over there. Like Yo, what? I, yeah, New York's. Yeah, I was honestly expensive. contemplating. Like sometimes you see those people, they get the plates and then you press a button, the thing comes down. I was contemplating. Throw that. Yeah, I was contemplating. And I have a plate cover on mine, but it's digging through. They can see it. Yeah. And I that's think gonna get you locked up. So yeah, I don't suggest that, that, that at all. No, no, no. I was contemplating. It. <laughs> you know, hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, you know, know, that's out there, but we're not recommending doing yeah. that. You will get locked up for that. Yeah, oh, yeah, big time. Most it's a crime. Deaf, big like, time. Most deaf. Yo, because people want to end up be the, quick to be like, yo, they scamming on this podcast. Yeah. Like, we're not. <laughs> we're really not. I was, <laughs> I was contemplating. You know, I was, I was contemplating. Yo, and they, they be passionate about it. So I was like, why do you care so much that he well, said that? Yo, <laughs> right, right, right. Nah, I was contemplating, but nah. Or or the, there's the people, they put, um, shoot, They'll like their the, whole the 3M. It. It's like, yo, your whole brand is... Just talking about other people, like he's scamming. It's like, oh, it's that doesn't sound scam. like a scam, but okay. that's not a scam. I'm trying to say what it's it not is, a bro. scam. You feel me? It's yeah. just shoot. They just be taxing too much yeah. for Easy Pass. I already <laughs> live in the state. Yeah, I live in yeah, the city. It makes sense. You know, it's, it's te- it is technically a scam it's, because if they were like, using the money for the roads in yeah. Massachusetts, that would have been different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm out of potholes. I hit. No, that's crazy. Yeah, they should. Yeah. It's some potholes I hit, bro. The car was like, yo. I'm not a- <laughs> yo, hey, yo, my mans. <laughs> my mans. Chill out, my guy. <laughs> yo, the potholes be there yeah, for like all of three man. years. Like, yo, bro, this has been here for like a minute. I know to swerve when I get here. Exactly. Like, you know it. Yeah, you know yeah, it. Mean, like, hold on. I think that's I what I know. Yes. I know exactly where it's at. Oh, there like, it is. <laughs> they don't wait. They wait until that thing gets really Real like deep. Damn, yo, yes. yeah. Like, They're like. Can, it's a well. You can get water from it. Yeah. They're like, all right, bro. We've we've took enough car tires. Like, bro, there's fixing. a few ninety three, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. still there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. You know, like, I let me hop lanes real quick. I know it's coming <laughs> up, bro. That's shoot. Yo, yo, there was yo, there was one time I hit a pothole, bro. Yeah, I saw the guy I had to pull over. And like, yo, I, I need a breather. Bro. I need a breather. Yo, now that the tire light didn't come over, like, I got to check this. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> this didn't sound right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the government should really. They should give us the opportunity to give it like choose a percentage of our taxes yeah. that they're taking to choose where it goes where? and what district because we yeah. don't really know where our taxes go. We yeah. just assume, yeah, they're doing it for what they said they're doing it. And then yeah. we wonder why like politicians are historically richer than everybody. Yeah. And it's like, yo, bro, are yeah. you really doing what yeah. you said Same you're doing with my off. money, yeah, with all of our monies? Yeah. So I feel like they should be like, yo, if we take. So for us, it's probably like thirty percent, right? The yeah. average. Yeah. How much they take off our paycheck? Like 30, is that thirty percent? Twenty five. Twenty five. I think it's about thirty. Bro. Dep- depending on no, your I job. Think, yeah, depending, depending on, on, the job. on the job. Yeah. I think it's twenty five, and then like the health insurance and everything gotcha. adds yeah, up to thirty gotcha, or something gotcha. like that. Oh, but yeah. they should be like, yo, you know what? We take twenty five percent off your taxes. We take twenty five percent from you. Yeah. Out of that twenty five, out of your one hundred percent of tax that you take, you get to choose twenty five percent. Of that, what department it goes on. If you're like, yeah. yo, it goes to, I want my 25% to go towards schooling. Well, I want some of my money to go towards schooling. I think, I, I think, go they towards do the roads, like towards teachers, towards yeah. different stuff. Yeah, I have a feeling because, like, think, you get to choose. No, I don't know. So, about you choosing, know, like, okay. But they do, I think they do, like, a, the mayor of Boston, I think they do, like, a budget review meeting, something like that. Mm. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. Oh, no, I feel like they should do, like, legit. So, like, they'll be like, all right, cool. We're going to do whatever we do. We're going to do what we say we're going to do with the 75% of the money. Yeah. The 25%, you could be like, yo, I really care about pu- public school education. I want all 25% of my money to go to towards go yeah. the whatever public school education is. And then if enough people do it, and then we're just like, all right, well, all of our money that we choose to go to, we choose to go to public like education. That's why our schools are better. Now yeah. our kids are learning more like... More things that are actually useful to like the world or whatever and stuff that matters. Yeah, yeah. compared to like 
oh yeah a bunch of your money's going towards military stuff it's like yeah i don't think it needs to go towards military stuff right now right maybe we should focus on something else but it's one of those things where they're just like, nah, we're not. You, we feel like you're too dumb to know it. We've done politics our whole life. It's like, yeah, but like, you. It seems like you're doing it wrong, bro. <laughs> Yo, honestly, <laughs> because we're stressed out here. <laughs> yeah, especially on the on the on the topic of politics. I feel like, yo, they should have like an age cap for some of the people that's in office. Yeah, like, for a fact. For a fact, it's for like, fact. yo, some people they basing their ideology from like, let's say. If, if someone's 85 years old still in the politics 40s. yeah the they're 40s. basing it like in the 40s like that time era I'm like yo That's good. this yeah. is a whole different generation yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying especially yeah. with social media and stuff like that yeah but yeah they want to crack down like oh yeah social media we don't want this on social media how you know we don't want it on social media cause you don't want it don't mean right. we don't want yeah. it you see what I'm saying yeah Control. I feel like, you yeah. you look, how I look at them like yo bro you was alive during World War 2 like Hitler and all that stuff yeah. why it's, it's a like, whole different world from it, now. It, like it you're still now. having that mind frame of like, now nah, we still like have to worry about a uh, World War Two type of event. It's, it's yeah. like maybe, but like, I mean, yeah, there's always a possibility. But you also got to focus on other stuff. It's like, yo, bro, you you're from a whole different era. Yeah, yeah you're, like, you have trauma from that era still. Let other people that don't have trauma from that era yeah, too, actually lead. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like yeah. this is, I right, this is very um, shoot, shoot. Shoot. You know we had the word tip of your tongue. Yeah, what up, big bro? What's, ah, what's up? Shoot. Big bro. Ah, controversial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very controversial. But it's like in in the in the event of like um same sex marriage and stuff like that, it's like, yo, why does the government have a say in that? If if someone if if like from someone finds someone attractive and they love that person, why do they need the government's permission or the government had to pass a law for yeah. them to you know, okay get married, yeah. like be yeah. okay? Like, yo, that has nothing to do with you. Yeah. And it'd be like, That's they'd fact. be passing laws to, you know, I don't want to say control, but they'd be passing laws to be like, yeah, we're trying to keep things in line and stuff like that. But their own families be doing the yeah. same things that they're passing laws about. It'd be control. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. But yet, it comes down to when we have to have a say, it's like they have more of a say than we do. But then again, they're like, okay, well, this voting is happening this time. This is when your say matters. But then half the bills that they pass behind Facts. closed doors, it's like you have no idea. Facts. Yeah. No idea. This dude made a video. Um, I forgot exactly how the video went. But he was saying during the whole um, the whole time when the submarine went down and stuff like that, behind the scene, they passed a whole bunch of laws and stuff like that. But it's like, yo, we Smoke should have ears. more of a... Yeah, we should yeah. have more of a say about the bills you pass than you. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, because we're the people. Exactly. And you you're, it's you're benefit guys are kind us. of individuals. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, it's like the sense. bills they be passing don't benefit us. Nah, they don't. Nah. Yeah, it's nah, like they, nah. tax the, <laughs> they tax the average people. Yeah. More than they tax the rich. Yeah. If you can buy a five hundred million dollar yacht, <laughs> you need to be paying Facts. more in taxes. Facts. Yeah. Like that's for certain. Yeah, that's, that is a fact. You see what I'm it's saying? Like, unfortunately, it's like it is what it is, bro. Yeah. You really should be like. I understand you probably like. I earned my money. Like Jeff Bezos, just like I earned my money. I want to keep it. It's like yo, that's valid. We all earn our money. The people that work for you earn their money too. That's they, that's exactly. That's thing. exactly yeah. what it is. So it's like yo, I get you. you, you I, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't want you to pay that much tax either. I wouldn't want to pay that much tax. I don't want to pay that But, it's like, like, yo, oh, it's, what's fair is fair. I'm, I got to pay the tax. You got to yeah. pay the tax. It's, crazy. it's hurting people, me more than it's hurting you. you. Yeah. <laughs> like, you buying a 500. It's like, bro, if you can get on a private jet, come on, man. You need to be paying more Thanks. than taxes. Yeah. Like, um, it was. That's crazy. I think um, Green Cardone was breaking it down, like, how much. Like, Green Cardone was someone else. They were breaking it down on how much. Um, Wi-Fi on a private jet cost. Like that person during that time said twenty thousand dollars. Damn, that's I'm crazy. Not, yo, that's damn. crazy. Twenty thousand. Oh, what? That's Wi-Fi, crazy. bro. That's insane. Mind you, you already paid for that jet, bro. You got to pay for Wi-Fi, bro. That's crazy. Why didn't it come with it? That's, <laughs> that's insane. Twenty thousand dollars, yo. For Wi-Fi. That's yo. crazy. And I'm over here complaining over sixty dollars a month to Comcast. Facts. Yo, that's <laughs> insane. Yo. Like, come on, man. I guess, like, some people, they, they want to argue, like, yeah, they don't want to take the risk. They don't want to take the risk. So, it's like, um... What up? Well, Crocs, Crocs, sponsor us. Yeah. 
Please. Yeah. Please. So we can't say nothing crazy then. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, um, shoot, what was I that look, saying? Man, I got a mad pair of Crocs. It's, it's, it's gross how much pairs I have. It's gross, I heard they bro. comfortable. I've never yeah, they're hella yeah, comfortable. They're, yeah, they're hella bro. comfortable, yeah. yeah. But it, this, this is better, though. That, Different conversation. One? We're not getting paid by none nah. of these guys, okay? <laughs> we need to get... <laughs> I get paid by yeah. nobody, okay? <laughs> We're not. If you want to sponsor, sponsor us. Please. If you want to sponsor a low, a low budgeted podcast that only has like forty subscribers right now, um, it's we could up. really. Bro, it's it's coming coming up. Up. No, it's, it's a, a lot. That is, that is a lot. Conversation by average. average. We gotta start somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. That started, hey, started, that's above average, bro. Yo, yeah. yo, that's a fact. <laughs> what, what, oh. like five episodes? Technically six. Yeah. Just two of them were yeah. not like good enough to be posted. <laughs> you guys start 44 <laughs> subscribers, man. Yeah. That's, I you think 41 or 44. So, so, so if, if if y'all want to within support, a month, it's pretty yeah, solid. Yeah, if y'all want to support, you know what I'm saying. After this episode, get the guy up to 100. You know what I'm saying? Please. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Me? Smash yeah. that subscribe oh, yeah, button. Just subscribe. <laughs> and I think that was another point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Destroy the yeah. like support. button. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, we way off topic. <laughs> Last topic. Last topic is. Um, what was the last topic again? Uh, hmm? Huh? Oh, yeah, yo. How many followers do you have to have to be considered a social influencer? Because a lot of people will have, like, 2,000 followers and not want to, like, oh. Put their friends on. Yeah. yeah. Like, even for this podcast, I'll straight up say for this podcast. I mean, no, I didn't even ask anybody <laughs> for this podcast. All the people I asked, even if they had 2K, they were like, yo, bro, you my bro. I got you. I'll yeah, post it. Yeah. But I know for other people's stuff. They'll be like, yo, I asked X, Y, Z to post it. It was like, yo, he felt like it was going to mess up his like brand or yeah, algorithm yeah, or yeah, he yeah. didn't want to post. It's like, yeah. yo, 2,000 followers, you're, you're not technically famous. You're not technically a social influencer. It's okay to like right. help out your friend, post like his stuff once or twice or something. Right, right, you know, right. network across, like we always talk about network across. Right. Be like, yo, you're doing, you're, what you're doing is legit. You're not doing a scam thing or just yeah. like trying to scam people. You're really doing a legit thing. Like real estate. So, yo, you're really doing, you're really a realtor. You really got your license. You're really like, yo, I'm trying to like, sell yeah, houses, yeah. you know? I just need an extra push. Maybe people will like, oh, I see he's really selling houses. Yo, could you post it on your IG real quick or post it on your Twitter? Whatever social media you got. Exactly. It's like, yeah, I'm not famous. You're real. You're genuinely my friend. Yeah. I'm not going to charge you because I have 2,000 followers. It's right. like, it's not real. It's not real influence because those people are probably just following me just because... What, like, like maybe, family, yeah, family, they ran family. across me and see me. It was like, oh, yeah, you a cool person. You follow my friend. But they're not really, you're not really an influencer as if you're influencing those 2,000 people. Yeah. So, I would say, what do you guys feel like is a... A good number. Yeah, at what point are you an influencer? Not a lot of you. I'm, I'm not and going... Does it matter across several platforms or is it just one platform? Nah, I'll say mm. several. Several? Several, because, you know, some platform like let, let's say you're biz like uh some platform or uh like a more let me see if i can explain it some businesses could be more popping on certain platform because of the age of the like the people that are on that platform you feel yeah. me okay then the other platform so i'll say it depends on the platform but all together let's uh, let's choose one let's choose instagram you, you say yeah you, you do know like people that take pictures a lot like like females like models and quote unquote mm -hmm. i'll say about like what 50k 30k 50k like you you're you're an influencer for Between model 30 and 50k yeah. on instagram on instagram I'll okay say, yeah all right but it, that, everything it, it depends on on like what you're posting and what like most people watch on that app you feel me yeah, yeah. but i'll say i'll say about like 25 30 35 40 45 he's just going <laughs> up right <laughs> yo he just added five he had, yeah. he had first said between 30 and 50 yeah. and they said 25 you know I, I don't want yeah i don't i don't discriminate you feel me yeah. <laughs> all right but that. like because some people will have they'll have instagram facebook twitter threads mm -hmm. tiktok mm -hmm. and they'll have the same people following them throughout all five of those but they'll add it all together and be like yo i have Twenty thousand people, but it's like technically though the same four thousand people follow you on each one. Got so, right, right. Does it because it's? I mean, maybe it's because you see it multiple times, multiple marketing. Right. They're more enticed to follow you. But I'll say, does that count? The whole count, or does it count by individual people? I'll say, bro. Me personally, I'll, I'll say, let's say uh, around all platform, I'll take the high higher number, and I'll say that's how much people are following me. I'll, I'll Based say that's off much, of the yeah, highest, the high, okay. you know what I'm saying? Then I'll say like let's say the highest one is like thirteen, fifteen k whatever. Now I'll say yo 
Yeah, you like you could consider yourself an uh, influencer because you have about that around that that same amount of number on uh, a lot of platforms. But across has, three, like, okay. Yeah. All right. So you're saying you'll have 15 on one, but then you'll have like 5,000 on the other one, Eight and they'll eat up, it'll no, add up so to. I just make the mic. No, oh, go ahead. Now you good? It'll add up to the 25, 30k. Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, you influ- Okay. But I'll see, bro. If if your highest is 15k, bro, I'll, I'll see you have 15k followers, bro. But, Come on, bro. The thing is, it's like. Also, I feel like there's, there's another component to it. Because sometimes it's like, you might have like, let's say, 1,000 followers, but you make a you make good videos, right. and your videos um, surpasses, like the views on your video surpasses your actual followers. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Got you, got you. Because it's like, there's some people, let's say, there's some people, they might have like, let's say 10K followers. All right, let's go to 40K followers like you mentioned. They getting like one point, one point one million views. You mm. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like the word influence is not just. I feel like we we tie it to the amount of following, which it does gotcha. tie yeah. to the amount of following, but like the algorithm might view it differently. Like because mm. you have followers, and then like if you have a a business page on Instagram, for example, you have um the way they do it is like reach. Like, there's yeah. how many people you reach. You know what I'm saying? So, you might have, say, 40,000 followers, but you reach 1.1 million people. Right. I mean, that makes shoot. Sense. That makes that, sense. And you might have an influence on those, like, 1.1 1. 1, pe- 1, uh, 1. 1 million people. Or you might have, like, 10,000 followers and reaching 500,000 people. So, you might have yeah. some kind of influence that makes on sense. those 500,000 people. Okay. That makes sense. You know that makes sense. I mean, I know a lot of people that, are, that, are, that have, like, about, like, 10K, 12K, or 20K followers. Mm-hmm. And they're only getting, like, what, 500 views. You know what I'm saying? 500 yeah. views on what, whatever they're posting. You know, I don't know if, it, if it's because of their, like, their timing or when, like, how long they, they, they wait until they post or whatever. Yeah. But, like, that that could be a negative for, like, the like that, the overall influencing thing part. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. like, they... They, you, you have 10k you only get like 500 views you feel me? and also yeah, you have the people that don't want to be themselves and like that buying too. the that too the yeah. number on the thing that yeah. you see what i'm saying that too, yeah. but i'll say like instagram they'll purposely they don't show your whole audience the post that you post got you so even if you have like 10k they're they're not going to show all 10k people got you yeah because mm. they want to make money off of um like advertisers apparently will just they're like oh why am i going to facebook or Instagram. Yeah. If you get ten thousand, I could just pay you probably cheaper. Yeah. As opposed to going and paying Instagram, Instagram where they're going to be like, well, we're going to charge the hell out of you because we're a whole company where you, you as a regular person, would be like, oh, that sounds like a lot of money. I'll take yeah. that. And they're just like, bet we got the more for our buck based off of going directly to you because gotcha. once you post, it'll go directly to all ten thousand people. Gotcha. So Instagram, all the social medias, they throttle it and make sure that you don't get that full reach. So they the brands could actually go to them instead of yeah. you. Got you. Yeah. I didn't even know that. That's so crazy. yeah, then you have to actually do a whole bunch of work on all all the That's social media big. platforms to be like, yo, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And it's like, yo, I gotta you That's gotta shake your ass for the algorithm, like bro. A like job. Yeah. 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 You gotta crazy. twerk for that algorithm, yeah. bro. It's like, God damn. And That's the crazy thing too is it's like at the end of the day, it all comes down to money. It's like if you're using Instagram, Facebook, whatever, all those platforms they want to make it in a way where, yeah, they'll give you a little money so you can keep going. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of the influencers and stuff like that, they probably, most of their money is probably from partnership deals. Yeah. 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 It was, um, For a fact. Yeah. Because they don't pay, I don't even think the meta, anything on meta actually pays you. Really? TikTok and YouTube does. Yeah. Right. I don't think Instagram pays you. Pays you. No, depending, I think if you take, if you're like a model, quote unquote, pictures, but it's not like, Instagram I don't think it's, themselves. I'm I, oh, that's what you're saying. Nah, yeah, nah, nah, the nah, platform nah, itself. Nah, the, nah, like nah, YouTube nah, pays you. Nah, the nah, nah, platform YouTube pays you. The platform TikTok will pay you. Pay, yeah. You. But the other ones are just like, nah, you post them for free. Yeah. I think Amazon has um Amazon influencers now. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they nah, do. On nah, the nah, if you go on the Amazon app, there's a section where you could you, let's say you buy some, you can record, you record it, and then like post like your review or something, or yeah. post like yeah. You know, you know the the thing. I think it's like TikTok make me buy it. That thing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. They be finding no. Nah, it's okay. like TikTok maybe buy. It's like I can buy, let's say, this microphone on off Amazon, and then I show people, oh, this is how amazing this microphone yeah. is. Mm-hmm. And then all right, you yeah, go on yeah, Amazon, this yeah, is where you get it. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm not gonna oh, lie. Dude. Some of the things, bro, yep. it'd be really yep. useful. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so many things. Yep. Like, I have to catch myself. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Amazon also they, they they either sponsor you or they can sponsor you and pay you. Like they send you the the start the, the parts. Mm-hmm. You re- you record the video. Like let's say you like the unboxing and everything, mm-hmm. and then you post it. There's a there's a tab on the Amazon shopping app. Uh, app. There's a there's a tab. There's a home app, and then there's a like a light app, and you click on it, you can see the videos and reviews of, of certain stuff. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually didn't know yeah. that. Nah, you didn't get know paid. Either. To do it. Yeah, that's crazy. Shoot. Bro, it's all about money, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, at the money. end of the day. Yeah. I think we were talking about it last time. Yep. Well, yeah, Snapshot is starting that crap too. They, 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 you do a uh, spotlight and you get paid for it. You get paid for it? Yeah. Every, Yo, I forgot yeah, I all about Snapchat. Yeah. I haven't been on Snapchat for yeah. years. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. I forgot yep. all about Snapchat. I haven't yeah. been on Snapchat for years. Most, yeah. of the, most of the things are doing it. I don't know about Instagram and Facebook. If, if Facebook is not doing it, Instagram is definitely not doing it because it's, it's, it's a, yeah, they're the same thing. Yeah, now, Amazon's getting—I mean, not Amazon, Facebook, um, Instagram's getting their money off the blue, the blue check. Got you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. actually doing that. Yeah, I mean, I was actually thinking about doing that because supposedly it opens up your account. You know, you know how you're talking about it doesn't open up your account to that yeah. many people. Supposedly with the blue check, it opens your account up to more people. Yeah, so know, like if you're making that, content like they'll show your content up yeah it's like a, a subscription to get more people to view yeah, your stuff. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, i didn't yeah, hear yeah, about yeah. that until elon musk you know finished bought twitter and it was like hey everyone with a blue check you got to pay for it now That's and then boom crazy. matters after instagram yeah. ah, we, we coming out with the i think it's like That's verified crazy. i'm not paying for social media bro, right, bro it's not it's happening crazy. i'm barely on it anyway but, but it's, it's like yeah. i'm not paying that's a whole nother charge like that, but what depend on what kind of business you have it might be useful yeah. like if you're looking at it from a business sense like if you're trying to grow your business and like let's say you have a business where you make sandwiches like honestly you have um like especially like the the foodies the food um the people that, that that have like the food instagrams and they come they review the food mm-hmm. like you have those people come that will bring more people to your thing but now it's like if they keep coming you either have to give them the food for free so on and so forth or you can get the get the blue check and then your content opens up to a wider audience and now you like i, I think it's like if it's not ten dollars a month, it's like fifteen dollars a month. Like if you See, have a business, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, okay. okay, for an individual, it might be a lot. But if you that's have a, a Netflix, business, that's Netflix, right? Yeah, nah, if it, that's Netflix. More money, nah, I, 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 I'm not rocking with Netflix, yeah, man. Nah, if it's, yo, they doing that crazy. They doing that thing yeah. where, if, let us say, you give your account to somebody else, and they know, like, I right, that person is in is in that household. If you wanna, if you want the next person in in the other house, pay more. Yeah, you gotta pay more yeah. for that. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, man. But like, with the, it's like if you have a business yeah. that blue check, it might be worth it. Fifteen dollars yeah. a month, and then you have imagine if you have a plate of food that's twenty dollars, and then you buy the blue check, and every month that blue check brings like ten people in. Yeah, now you do the math. Yeah, I, I'll get that blue check for I, my business. Nah, Shoot. I can't. They, 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 uh, they, I get you, no, I get you. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's just me personally, just mm-hmm. so paying for social media when it's been free for the last. A, yeah. But you're not decade. paying for social media. Yeah. Your yeah, account is still free. Yeah. Nah, you paying for social media? No, no, bro. you're not paying for. Social That's media. essentially you're paying. For, yeah, basically, you, you paying, paying for more a, money. If you're paying you, a monthly subscription for, yeah. the blue paying check, for the access, you yeah. paying additional for access. You're not Let, paying for. Let's say you're you paying for social like, media. Like he my said, mind, bro. Like, he, like he said, That's good marketing, right? Yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, like, yo, it is. Just say it differently, and maybe people will buy into it. I look at it like, yo, you you paying for social media, man? Let's say you have a sandwich. Like he said, if I my bad, I'm sorry. If I log on and I know I'm spending money here, I'm be like, I'm staying on. Here even longer, bro, because <laughs> I'm getting my money's no, worth. No, that makes sense. That makes but sense. okay, so would you say people that buy things off social media are they paying for social media? People that what buy things, you know how people can buy stuff it. off yeah. of it? No, 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 because they're buying it from like a third party. Okay, and yeah, you're paying direct. You're legit directly paying. How you know it's not a third Mark party? Zuckerberg? How you know it's not a third party? What to pay the Mark Zuckerberg check. for the blue check? How you know it's not there? No, that money's going straight to Meta, bro. Yeah, it's going Meta. Like, like, yeah, like, I'm good. But I'm all set. Nah, it's, you paying for the access. You're not paying for social media. Yeah. You're mm-hmm. paying for that. You paying? You paying? Basically, you paying for quote unquote more subscribers, or let's say you have a business. You paying? 
you're paying to have a more spotlight so you could have more customers yeah. at your business. Exactly. Nah, but right, perfect it's, example. Quote, I look at it like quote, it's quote. like the bank thing again, though. It's like, yo, you're begging us all to come on your platform. And then mm. when everybody's here, then it's like, all right, I'm going to start charging y'all. It's like, there's no nah, real benefit nah, 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 for nah, nah, you, nah, though. I, I think the only person here, that I'm giving you the free door for content. That. No, the only person that opened the door for that is Elon, in my opinion. Only person that opened the door for that. Nah, but it's still the same thing. Like, I'm either way, it's like, yo, you begged us to come here. We came here. We gave you mad free content for free. Yeah. You didn't pay us a dime. And then you're like, that's true. Now you guys are going to pay me for that's to true. get the most exposure, even though. You spent years building up those people that have like hundreds of millions of followers. Like LeBron exactly. James, hundreds of like you spent years getting this, or let's say not LeBron James, somebody who really had to work hard and be like, "Yo, not like LeBron James to work hard," but somebody who's like, "Yo, I'm not famous outside of this. I really had to put out great content where people want to watch it." Makes sense. For you to then be like, those million but people it- that you worked hard to follow you, we're only going to show you. 50,000. It's like, bro, nah. Like, Would it have been different? Give me mad free content. People are here because of me. Yeah. Would it Come have on, been bro. different if they had that, you know, the moment they opened up social, when like when social media was founded, if they had that piece, would it have been different? Because now I feel yeah. like what if people If they came think, in and were just like, it costs money. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't got it. I'm in high school. No, I know. Like, like aside from that, I feel like now people see it in a negative way because they're like, well, you got the blue check because you're trying to be like, like you mentioned, let's say um, King James or, you know what I'm saying, Facts. any celebrity. Yeah, you trying to be a celebrity. So now you have the blue check. Mm-hmm. So, but that's not really the case. If you have like, create and execute. If you're trying to open up the podcast to a ton of people, you yeah. can like... Having the blue check is just opening the door for more people to view your things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with, like, because create mm-hmm. and execute is, an, in a sense, is an entity. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a an individual person that's trying to be, yeah. like, super popular or celebrity or something. But if would you, you wouldn't pay just to get the views? Uh, to- it depends. Just no encoding. I, if they would have to be like, yo, when you post, it see it shows it to the hundred percent of your followers. If it's not that, it's like I, I might as well ask you to be like, "Yo, could you post it on yours?" It goes on your algorithm. Yo, could you post it on yours? It goes on your algorithm. Uh, yeah. I post now. It's on different people's algorithm. Yeah. As opposed to like, let me just post it on mine. I think it's it does only that. on my my, my, uh, my no, algorithm. No, I think it does that. I think it opens it up to like more people. From when I was looking into it, mm-hmm. it does that. You see what I'm saying? Okay. You, it's it's like not. My, it's like my for you page, whatever. Yeah. You hashtag and then you, when you open, uh, what do you call it? TikTok. And everybody that no has my fo- my f- my f- yeah, it's like when you, you know, you know how there's two tabs on on uh, there's like followers and then like my my for uh, you pa- yeah for you page yeah. Hey, that's y'all. No, <laughs> that's all right, all right, basically, I okay. don't go on TikTok. Right, think so of it this way. Know, think of it this way. You know, on Instagram, when you yeah. click, when you go to search something, right? Yeah. And then you have like a ton of things, like like different. Like pe- you seen p- people you don't even know. Like, hey, yeah. why is this person under right. my search bar, whatever right. the case may be? Mm-hmm. Like, not your actual search bar when you start typing. Like, yeah, when you just hit that. Page. Yeah, when you, you just first hit you that search thing. Yep. So basically, I think on TikTok, that for you page is what it is for Instagram. Basically, yeah, you see what I'm yeah. saying? But but whoever has uh for you page mm-hmm. as a hashtag under their post, it, it shows up. Yeah, like yeah. you you swiping. All you see is everybody that has like that under there, and then you know that obviously you get a lot of views. So even then, you you see people that don't have a lot of views on there too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that that check is bas- that a uh, subscription is basically that on a uh, Instagram. Instagram, you feel yeah. me? Okay. But like TikTok is free, but Instagram is just is just pushing your your stuff out of there, uh, out there on Instagram, so more people that opens the page can see your content on there. If that makes sense. Okay. And plus, and plus is another revenue thing for um, Meta. I think they were losing money a little bit for a little bit because yeah. they were doing the uh, the Meta stuff. Yo, what happened to that? Actually, I haven't heard the about that Metaverse. Meta World. Yeah, yeah Metaverse. Metaverse. They pulled back on it because they weren't making money. He's <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg's not good at creating products, bro. He's good at stealing people's yeah, products, copying, <laughs> and call a spade a spade. He's he's That's not he's crazy. not creative. I That's think- what it is. He's not creative. But I, I also have a feeling so, it was also, like, bad marketing behind yeah. it. Yeah. Like, because it's like, because I feel like another piece to it, too, is the VR $200 $300 or $300 VR headset they were trying to sell with that product. Yeah. But it's like, it if you can't sell the initial product that requires the VR headset correctly, 
Like I'm sure, yeah. sure people can still buy the the VR headsets and like watch movies, you know, do things on their own. Right. But like, like I, yo, I saw a crazy, and that's another thing with like social media nowadays. I feel like it's such a huge part of our lives because like that VR <laughs> headset thing. It was like, I don't know if it was a joke or if it was something serious. It was like two friends. They they had the headsets, and then um, two guy friends. They had the headset. And they were playing some kind of game. And this other dude supposed to be walking in the room was like, oh, okay, this person. Like, one's on the couch, like, humping in a humping motion. And then he's like, oh, interesting game. And then he goes to a room. <laughs> the other guy's bent over. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> so... So, back to the influencer <laughs> stuff. Um, I feel like <laughs> Yo, it's hot. It's, hot. it's mad hot down here. I feel like you need to have like a lot of audience engagement. Yeah, um, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah, so like when you post something, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hell, <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> I feel like if you went out watching it, it took me oh god. It took me I feel like if you post something and you get nobody like talking in the comment section, yeah, you could kind of surmise like, all right, this is not, he, you're not an influencer. Oh yeah. If you post something that nobody's saying anything in the comment section, even if it's like, yo, I got ten thousand views, it's like, come on, bro, they just watched it because it came on their thing. Yeah, on the, yeah. When they're actually in the audience, like, I mean, in the audience, in the comment, comments, yeah. but they're it depends talking. Depends on what if they're kind of arguing. Comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's some a, people that just be hating the comment section. Yeah. Like sometimes I love the videos on there just to go to the comment section. Yeah, that's like, true. It'd be that's crazy. True. <laughs> that's true. But I, that, so meaningful comments. Yeah, yeah. Because like if they're in the comments, and I feel like if they're arguing about what you're talking about, they really care. You yeah. have influence over it. Because they're just like, yo, why are you arguing over the video? Yeah, you could have just been yeah. like, you could have literally just been like, I don't like this his commentary. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna swipe over. When you're not, when you have no influence, when you have yeah. some type of influence, they get mad at your comments. It, they'll get mad at whatever you post. So they'll be like, I don't like the fact that he posted, and people will argue in it. Or people are just like anything other than the fire emoji, facts, <laughs> thumbs up, facts, facts. Those generic stuff. You're just like, ah, right, bro. These are clearly his friends or her yeah, friends, bro. It makes sense. Yeah. Like, what, what are we doing here? But when like, they have real, yo, that was dope. And there's a real comment. It's like I can't decipher if that's his friend or not. But, but, I really but, think this but, is person's yeah, a fan. Like, yeah. but sometimes I feel like I feel that's like when you're a real influencer. Should should it even be considered like? Should they use the word influencer? Because half the time, some of the videos, you're not influencing no one. Yeah. It's like some, to some of the people that goes to Walmart and, like, throw milk and pretend like they fall and stuff. Like, you're not influencing. Yeah. Because, like, the word influence is like, hey, it's either, well, I guess they They're influence someone younger to go kids. do the same yeah. dumb stuff. So, I, well... Then I, I retract what I'm trying to say. If they're getting a lot of views for it, people, other people yeah, are going to do it. Yeah, because like, if you I want can that get attention. someone else to do it, well, obviously that's some Makes kind of sense. Yeah. yeah. But to me, I never see those videos like as like influential because it's like, how are you trying to make me better my life? Because it's like when you hear the word influence, it's like, hey, someone has a good influence on you. Well, someone can have Bad, a negative yeah. influence on you as well. But you want people to have a good influence on you. So it's like, in my opinion, if for you to be an influencer, like at least use what what you have, you know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. base you have to do good, to have good influence on people. Yeah. That's because we older though. We're in the late 20s now. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You got to just talk about that. yourself, bro. Okay. What are you, what are you oh, talking no. about, bro? My bad, my bad. Mr. We. Mr. We. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> you pushing 30. <laughs> They said no, we're the wrong they said we. <laughs> yeah. Yo, uh -uh. Holy yeah. damn. Y'all yeah. <laughs> not that far off from me, bro. Hey, hey we're pretty you, far. You're like two years, two years younger than me. It don't matter. You're four years younger. You still can't say we, bro. Like you, you gotta say you're we. pushing the like you you leaving you, you, you leaving twenty we. going uh -uh. to thirty. You feel me? You gotta say that about yourself. Yeah, talk to you. I'm still, <laughs> so, don't put me in this, man. Yo. Uh uh. <laughs> we. Uh uh. Like, okay. Um. You're more mature. <laughs> yeah. Than um. <laughs> the average but twenty. Year -old. The thing about the age is so immature. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> but no, nah, the older, the younger 20 year olds, the early 20 year olds, they'll be more influenced over yeah. BS like yeah, that. Yeah. So I would say. 
that influences them a lot. Yeah. Because like even rap music, you hear the rap music. Even I, I like the rap music too, but I just be like, yeah, this is Yo. really bad, bro. <laughs> yeah. But I, it's about? a bop. It's a bop, but it's really like the lyrics are like, this is really bad. Oh, but yeah. But it's a bop. Man, like, what are you talking so about? So I can only imagine being in the early 20s, you're just like, oh, this is real. It's like, this is not real, bro. They're just rapping. It's just making music. Yep. Ass. Bro, Some of them are actually. So yeah. a lot of these yes. rappers are getting locked up for like. Oh, yeah. 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 Bro, okay. Yeah. I don't know, again, like. On the topic of social media, I might have to stop getting my information from social media. But this dude was making, uh, since you brought up um, rap music and influence and stuff like that, right? This dude made a video on the history of rap music. I guess there was a period of time, like, I think, I want to say back in... He said, oh, oh, let's just say a while ago. I forgot the date that he said. He said um, there was a time where... I guess they try to fi- they try to figure out okay how to um, imprison more people. I guess specifically black people too. Mm-hmm. And they was like, hey, you can do it through rap music. And now I guess after rap music become popular, because I guess um, not Sony, one of the record labels owns like invest in prisons and stuff like that. Again, mm-hmm. don't quote me on this. It says I got the information from the internet, so. Yeah. I didn't do additional research, but I thought it was interesting because it's like rap music does have a large influence on like everyday people. Right. And it's like they were saying since rap music become, became popular, also um, like incarceration rates went up. Yeah. Because, um, people being sentenced to life in prison went up because it's like, hey, they also getting money for having more people in prison gotcha. yeah. i was like yo if you talking about something that has influence because if like a lot of people say sometimes rap music has negative influence yeah i get it rap music talk about drugs sex guns um calling females bitches hoes yeah. and all that but you can go to the movie theaters and watch a movie with someone getting slaughtered nah but the rap song will be like two to four minutes yeah that's exactly and you point. hear that on rotation at the what's it called on the radio, radio yeah. nah, I get and that. then they won't play stuff derogatory towards other cultures on the radio though i so I like they'll that. be like yeah you could say i'm gonna kill this i'm gonna kill this I'm like, oh, she a bitch. She a yeah. No, and I then get that. Trust when me. it's like, oh, another culture. I'm a derogat. I'm gonna say this derogatory thing about this other culture. They're like, nah, you can't play that on the radio. On the radio, yeah. And then you have like kids singing along, like, yeah, I'm gonna kill this. Yeah. I'm like, oh, she. A-. And it's like, yeah, but it's like eh, right. also it's negative. Like some people say, yeah, I won't let my kid watch, like, listen to like rap music. Yeah. Like when I have a child, I'll let my child listen to Future. That's my guy. I let my I let my God, this is future all day. That's if you can I, hear what he's saying. Yo, that's it. I don't. I mean, I mean, I would hope he's not rapping by the time you have a child, and the child is actually listening to music. Yeah, he's like, yo, bro. At this point, you should have had other investments where you're just sitting on money and it's making it for oh, you. Big facts. Like, big facts. I hope he's not still. Yeah, facts. but it's like some people's like, I won't let my child listen to rap music, but you let your child watch a movie where it's like shooting killing and all that it's like right. does sound well don't get me wrong there's also a music video that goes with rap music and stuff like that but does if someone's listening to a music video i mean a song on the radio you have to know what they're talking about to really visualize it but i can let my kid go watch like a movie where like a ton of shootings like killing blood splat um you splat shouldn't everywhere. But it's more the songs are more catchy, and the, you hear it constantly. The movie you'll see it one time, and then you don't ever gotta think about it again. No, the, the music, is, your music, you constantly hear it. But you the, hear it everywhere. You hear it but, on TikTok. You're constantly hearing the same thing. Yeah. So it's kind of more programming. Yeah. And then they're yeah, singing along, that. and it's like I, you don't really know what you're saying, but they'll catch some words. You know, kids are smart. They'll catch some words, and then it's just like yo. And then you'll see like black kids are like they're more grown than other kids, and it's like yo, bro, yeah. just be a kid. Why are you 
Facts. You're saying certain stuff to me where it's just like you probably don't 100 percent know what you're saying. That makes yeah. sense. But the fact that you even know those words is like it's, what's oh, happening. Yeah. Like, I mean, no, that makes sense. You're yeah. too grown yeah. to be seven. Like you're seven going on like 15. Relax. Damn. Facts. You're seven. Be seven yeah. and go eight. Especially, I feel like, like it's stop. Like it. in 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 that context, it's more so for um, younger girls too. Cause it's like there's some some songs shoot that was like uh, WAP. Yeah. <laughs> I, Why do you say it like bro, that? Bro, I, I, I never. Not hit you. <laughs> WAP. <laughs> WAP. WAP. Yeah. Bro, I never really heard the whole song, <laughs> but the clips. Yes. Yo. Yes. Yeah, yo. And that's yeah, that's what goes back to like. The influence that they have. Yeah. Because, like, that, little different. girls are going to see that and then be like, oh, I'm going to do that. It's cool. Yeah. I see it all the time. I see my grown-ups, ro- like, role models doing it. I'm going to do it, too. It's like, oh, like, relax, sometime, kid. Sometimes you can't even get mad at the parents. I mean, you can't, like, some people like, oh, that, that, I would never let my kids do this. I, get, I never, let, uh, never let my kids do that. Sometimes you can't even get mad at the parents because there's a ton of influence outside of the house. Yeah, yeah. But if you go back in the day... Some of the songs that people are saying is crazy now, Facts. like back in the day when when people heard that Lil Wayne song coming from the '99 to the 2001s, and they go crazy. Yeah, da da Shit, I don't know the song. Oh, I know, I know the exact yeah. song you're talking about. I don't know the words. Crazy, and it, 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 yeah, it brings them back to that days. Yeah. You know, they're in the club. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah booty going everywhere yeah. it's like <laughs> but it's just the same thing happening that was happening back then yeah just to a whole new different generation yeah, and they, the social media i'll fact. say they i feel like they switched up their formula with like they try to pump negative stuff towards black women now if i don't know if you guys noticed that where it's like oh, sexy it. red cardi b all, a lot of like the women yeah. They're pumping it like it's a bunch of negative stuff. Oh, I'm gonna shake my ass type of stuff like Pound Town. I like this song Pound Town. <laughs> <laughs> yo, but it's I just like, yo, clip. bro. A lot of like rappers that a lot of like the black woman rappers that they have yeah. are saying like just degrading stuff. And it's yeah. like, oh, coincidentally, like a few years ago, you guys were saying, yo, black women are the highest achieving, like they're getting the most degrees, they're achieving the most. Instead, and all of yeah. a sudden now you guys are pumping yeah, black women to be doing degraded like yep. degradative stuff like rapping music it's like yeah. yo come on bro you guys are clearly it's clearly a scheme i might even go i might even go say it's a conspiracy y'all doing it on purpose <laughs> let's be real i don't know who you guys are <laughs> but y'all doing it on purpose like coincidentally oh they they got the highest degrees they're getting the best yep. jobs yep all of a sudden it's like there was always female rappers. There was yeah. always women rappers. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, but right. all of a sudden it's like, yeah, let's pump but these women. I'll out. say, like, y'all like, weren't pumping the, like, the a lot of what you touching base on is like some of the female rappers today are not like some of the female rappers back in the day. When I say back in the day, I'm not talking about Monster. I was born in '97, so I'm talking about um, before '97. Right. Nah, they got Rhapsody. Rhapsody still be rapping. Who's Rhapsody? It's a woman rapper. Um. Close out the podcast, man. <laughs> Shit, what do I say? Um, I guess we're closing this down. Episode five of Create Next Cube. Go. Well, thank Where you. Where they follow you? Where oh, can they follow you at? Um, follow me on um Instagram, Carve Out Missiles Boston. Um, thank you everyone for watching episode five, Create and Execute. I kind of got a little awkward now <laughs> since I'm the only one speaking. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys. This was a long episode. Thank you, Carl, for showing up. Um, it's been a pleasure. We can talk about real estate in totality next time. Oh. We can talk about real estate in totality next time. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking. Smash that like button, please. Peace.